Why have you embraced it? Well, I think there's a tremendous opportunity. I think on demand is going to have the same impact on audio that on demand has had on video. Um, that's why we put together the Podcast One Network. We've got 200 of the most popular and most um, uh, consumed podcasts. We're downloaded about 140 million times a month with our 200 shows. Why do you feel that radio has been so slow to uh, uh, embrace podcasting as a new offshoot? Well, I don't think they can. I think radio ownership is so heavily leveraged that they can't really invest in something that isn't an immediate needle turner. But um, uh, they're, they're, they're coming around. They're usually late to the party. So I expect them to be late to this one too. What is it that you like about podcasting personally? Well, I, I think that uh, consumer uh, consumers want to be able to consume all kinds of programming and all kinds of content when they want, how they want, and that's podcasting. That's not traditional broadcasting. Is there enough of a business model at this stage? Well, there certainly is enough business model for us. I think that podcasting is probably generating now between 50 and 75 million dollars in revenue. That's teeny tiny, but um, you know, when I started Westwood One, there was uh, zero dollars in syndicated radio shows, and uh, that became a billion dollar business. How are you positioning this new uh, venture? What are you positioning it um, uh, relative to the traditional uh, media models? Well, I, I think we're the largest advertiser supported um, uh, podcasting company out there by a long shot, and that's the way we're positioning it kind of a digital Westwood One 35 years later. And for people who like radio and spoken word radio, uh, who are not familiar with podcasts, what, how would you describe the value in podcasts to a potential new audience? Well, there's far more uh, compelling content. Um, it's far easier to access, and you can listen to it whenever you want. How do most people uh, uh, consume? What are the ways that they listen to the podcast on the network? Through these. It's about 70% mobile now. It's easy, doesn't require an in-dash solution. Um, and, uh, you know, between computers and iPads and iPhones and, uh, and Androids, easily available to just about everybody.